Hey guys, welcome to the Honzo where we help you multiply the assets you own. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how to make $10,000 or more or less <laughs> in an hour. Wholesaling is a fantastic way to make money in real estate. If you don't know what that is, that is where you get a property under contract and then you sell the contract to someone else. And I have a little story for you guys. Back in 2019, I got a message from a friend of mine and he says, hey, good morning. I have a property under contract that I could use your help. After consideration, after careful consideration, I have determined that wholesaling the deal would be my best action. Okay, so this person reached out to me. They have a property under contract. They had met a seller at their job and that seller and my friend, they worked out a deal. My friend wanted to buy the property, but then after he looked at the property, realized how much work it's gonna need, how much money he would need to raise, all of that kind of stuff, he said, you know what, I'm gonna wholesale this property. So he reaches out to me because he actually doesn't know what he's doing in terms of wholesaling. This was his first wholesale deal. He reaches out to me on uh, November 21st, 2019 at 8.17 a.m. We get to talking. He tells me about the property. He tells me the details. He shows me the pictures. He tells me the price he has it under contract for. By 10.20 a.m., we got it under contract. So this is what happened. He gets the property under contract. He says to me that he has it under contract for $40,000. And then he tells me the address, he shows me the pictures, and I say, I have the perfect buyer for you. I have the perfect buyer for you. I reach out to a friend of mine. I say, hey, I got this property under contract. I already know what my friend buys properties for, like how much he's willing to spend. I know what areas he likes. So when this came to me, I knew exactly who to call. I call my friend. I tell him about the property. He says, yes, I'm ready. Let's go. I get back to my friend and I tell him, hey, I need you to get the seller down. I know you have it locked up for $40,000. I need you to lock it up at $32,000 and then I can sell it to my friend for $42,000. That $10,000 spread, that's what we make. I tell him exactly what to say to the seller. He says it, and then he gets the property. He, he, he messages me back, and he's like, Hone, I got the property for that $32,000, as you said. It worked perfectly. I said, fantastic. We get that under contract. We get my friend under contract. Boom, we got a deal. In that time frame, we're not constantly talking back and forth. He spends a couple minutes. I spend a couple minutes. He spends a couple minutes. I spend a couple minutes. Voila. In about the course of an hour, maybe even less, he gets it done. There's a $10,000 spread right there. Now, take me out of the picture. Imagine it was just him. Imagine he knew he found the seller. Imagine he knew the buyer and he handled that whole ent that entire transaction. He does it under an hour. He makes a $10,000 spread. That is what I'm talking about when I say make $10,000 an hour. It's crazy, but it happens. People work two months, three months to make $10,000, and sometimes you can do it in an hour. Now, you're not going to be doing it every single hour for 40 hours every single week. It's not like that, but you do want to focus your time on activities that can make you $10,000, $5,000, $20,000 an hour. That's where you want to spend your time because if you spend your time doing those activities, then you're going to make more money per hour. If you focus on that, when you're focusing on things like painting that you can pay someone $15 an hour to do, that is keeping you from doing the $10,000 an hour jobs. That's why when people ask me, Hone, do you, do you rehab your own houses? And I say, absolutely not, because the contractor that I pay, who I pay well, his fee is still less than what I can generate when I go out and do deals like the one I just told you guys about. Now, I know some of you guys are wondering, Hone, you told part of the story. What did you tell the your friend to say to the seller? I told, this, I told the friend, hey, we need to get the property for less. Tell them that you didn't have a contractor walk through. You underestimated the rehab costs. The costs are going to be more. I want to do this deal with you, but I can't do it at this $40,000 price. Would you be willing to work with me? Ask them for a $30,000 reduction and try to get it to where they come back up to thirty-two, dollars something like that. 
And then the seller who really wants to sell the property because the situation was they were inheriting the property. They didn't want it anyway, and it was a wreck. This is new $30,000, $40,000 money that they would be getting. They didn't have this money beforehand. So it's all, it's whatever. It's not hard-earned money for them. They're inheriting this money. So when you're dealing with a situation like that, they are much more likely to say yes when you renegotiate after you get it under contract. You don't want to always do that with sellers, but in some situation it warrants it because I knew my friend was not in the space of pay paying like $50,000 for the property. I know he wanted to stay in the 40s, so we needed to get it into the 30s in order to make a spread. So that's why I needed to get the price down. It's not necessarily that um, I, I needed the price to get down just just for the sake of it, but it was so that I knew that my buyer would buy it for sure. So know your buyers, know your sellers, know what you can do, and that that's how I knew I could negotiate that one. Now for all of you guys who are trying to get into the wholesaling business, what is it? Again, it's where you get a property under contract from a seller. This, there's a seller who wants to sell their property. You get a contract that says you are gonna be buying that property from them. And then you turn around and you find a real buyer who's going to buy the property and you have what's called an assignment contract. You are assigning that original contract to the end buyer. And that assignment contract you get to sell to the end buyer. You're not selling them the property, you're selling them the contract that allows them to buy the property. That's the big difference. And now what I did technically was called daisy chaining because I didn't have it under contract. I simply found a buyer to buy the contract from the person who actually had the contract. Now that's the right way to do daisy chaining the way I did it. Some other people do daisy chaining in a weird way where Let's say my friend who had the seller under contract decided to do marketing and he blasted that contract out and said, hey, who wants to buy this? And then I look at it, I, I get the email blast and then I call my friend. I am squeezing my way into this deal where I had no business or permission to be in the deal. I don't like when people daisy chain that way. What happened in our situation, my friend contacted me and so now I'm in the deal with verbal permission to be in the deal. Other people daisy chain simply by remarketing the, the marketing piece that the original person put out there. They didn't necessarily want you in their deal. They want to find the buyer directly. Where, where people get into hot water when they do that is, let's say you remarketed their piece of marketing and I find, you find a buyer, right? You find a buyer. Well, when the buyer is like, okay, I want to do the deal, I actually don't know that contract is still valid because remember they marketed it to a whole bunch of people. What if they actually found a real buyer themselves? Now you look bad to your buyer because that contract doesn't exist anymore. Don't daisy chain things that you weren't asked to be a part of. That's a, that's a bad unethical thing to do. But now if you do want to be involved in more deals, what you got to do is add value. In this situation, I added value because I knew a buyer. I knew exactly which buyer and I knew exactly how much he would pay even before I contacted him. As a brand new investor, what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to do a lot of research. No areas, no buyers, no sellers, no everything about everything. Know as much as you can about certain things and then this way you can do deals like this where you make $5,000, $10,000, $20,000 an hour because you've put so much work in on the on the on the back end. You get paid for the value, not the time that you put in. You're going to be doing a lot of work for free so that when you do the little bit of work that's paid for, you get paid a lot of money for that time. Your job is just to become super super valuable. And usually, you don't have to do the work over and over and over. If you've done the background work, if you've done all of that, then you get to experience all of the the value add and the pay for that value over and over and over without having to do that background work time after time after time. Do it once, be really valuable, and then the work that you get paid for, where you actually get paid for, you will then get that pay over and over and over.
All right, guys, if you are interested in becoming a wholesaler and you want to know how to analyze deals so that you can not waste time with bad deals, go check out my book. I talk about how to analyze deals top to bottom, whether you're flipping, whether you're holding, whether you're wholesaling, whatever it is, I talk about it in the book on all about how to analyze properties. And with that book, you will stop wasting time so that you get paid more per hour. Eventually though, you are gonna graduate and then you are gonna own a bunch of assets that pay you regardless of whether you do work or not. And so now you're getting paid without putting in any hours. And that is the goal. All right, guys, if you enjoyed that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button because we release new videos every Monday and Wednesday here at the Hone Zone where we help you multiply the assets you own. And with that, I will see you in the next video. Peace.